<laughs> okay. So I gave you the little, you know, update about what the project is about. And now what I'd like you to do is just kind of look at the design and look at the different elements that have been added. And um, I mean, any, the three of you, any of you can speak up about what you see and what you like, we could go through a little bit, just like, where do you think a button will go? Or what do you think it will do just by looking at it? Like, what do you expect the home button to do? Well, I mean, the home button will take you to the home screen, right? So that you can yeah. That's pretty mm -hmm. cool. And how would that differ from the back button? Because I'm I'm assuming no matter where you were in the tree, in the clicking tree, I guess, that the home would take you to the very first screen, wherever yeah. you were. So in the back button, you might have to go back, you know, a couple times to get to home, mm -hmm. depending on how deep you are. Mm -hmm. But and home then, will be directly there. Okay, perfect. And then um we brought the search function and the closed captioning function to the forefront. It actually has a button. You know, it's not something you have to now search for. They're right there on the on the interface. How do you guys feel about that? I personally love that because I feel even when going through um, Netflix or things like that, you know, you have to pause and go back and then go forward and it just seems like you're clicking more buttons just to do one thing. So it's nice that it's one button right there mm -hmm. in front of you. Okay. Um, one of the things we added was the texture, which might be hard to see on the drawing, but we added a texture to the bottom of the rope and the top of the remote continues to be the um, touch glass, the touch screen glass. Yeah. How do you guys feel about that? What are your thoughts on that? I like that idea because like you said, when you grab it in the dark, you're like you can you can tell by feel immediately if it's backwards or forwards. Yeah, that's nice. Have you ever had that issue where you pick up the remote and you point it to the TV the wrong way? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh okay. I just thought maybe it was our family. No. Um, Especially yeah, when it's such a small remote and it fits in your hand, like it doesn't like like it's a you know it's like a, it doesn't have like an odd uh, shaped end like a lot of remotes used to have. You know, like the big kind of rounded top that makes it feel like, oh, that's the top. And there's no like battery weight to it on one end where the batteries are that tell you like, oh, that's the back. That's so small yeah. and you can't tell. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Um, have you, when you first got your remote, do you remember knowing or not knowing about the glass touch screen? Mm, no. no. But I was so... Like I had seen the videos on it mm. before I even touched it. So I was so I would I didn't go into it ever with, you know, fresh eyes that I didn't know that it was touch. Okay. How about Jen or Bill? Like were you did you know that that was a touch screen up at the top? I, I don't I, I run through Xbox, so I don't have a Apple TV. Yeah, and I don't have one with a touch screen, so that was not my first reaction. I didn't think it was a touch screen. Oh, okay, okay. I've never experienced that yet. Okay, we're going to be cutting that part out of the video, both of you, Bill. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let's pretend. <laughs> okay, how do I rephrase that question then? Um, well, let me, I'll just, I'm going to start from right here. So the top there is a touch screen. And the, the previous model had no indicator that that was a touch screen at all that that actually, that top touch glass is a press button function, plus mm -hmm. it's a scroll function. So what we did there was we added this blue glow. So when your thumb kind of swipes over that area, that area will come up with a glow. And you can program that to turn off if you don't like it. But in the beginning, it can kind of give you clues that if you're trying to select something, it could light up blue as you're trying to select it, as you're thumbing over it, it'll remind you that there is a function there um, that it can do can do something. Um, and that was because originally out of the box, there's no indication that that's a touch screen at all. It takes a little while to figure that out. The mm -hmm. other thing was um, we were going to have it be that if you say find remote, that's going to light up. Uh, so, that's nice. Do you guys like do you feel like that would be a good one? 
Yeah. yeah, that or like it for it to vibrate or something or have some sort of noise because that remote like I've it slips between couch cushions so easily because it's so thin. It's super annoying. Yes. So that's the idea that you would almost like turn off the lights in your room, say find remote and it, it would light up between your couch cushions. Yeah. Yeah. It, okay. uh, yeah. It's notoriously like slippery. And like, just, it goes everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you actually at you said slippery. Cause that was another reason to add the texture was the slippery, the slipperiness of it, because that glass touch screen is breakable if you drop it. Mm -hmm. um, so that was to add a little bit of grip to nice. it also without losing the minimalist aesthetic. Yeah. Um, nice. The other thing that we added, which may not be as big a deal, um, especially to Nick since he watches the videos prior to purchasing of a product, but um, we added a little indicator that Siri is hearing you, and that's what those blue lights are up on mm -hmm. the top. Um, have you ever had any concerns with that, that Siri's not hearing you? Well, no. I'm more concerned that she is hearing me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I know what you mean, though. Like, if you say a command and you want to know that, like, because, like, all any of the voice command devices I have all have some sort of indicator that, like, when you say, Alexa, or, hey, Google, like, there's some sort of something that comes up to tell you, like, I'm listening now. Sorry, I'm not sure. Just like that. <laughs> yes. So, okay. So that, that was the idea of it, of that, that that would flicker a little bit to know that, to give a feedback that Siri hears you. And it also could relate back to Bill's thing that if you start seeing that flickering and you are not talking to it, that you could go into the controls and turn it, turn it off. Yeah. It's kind of could be a safety feature as well mm -hmm. as just a feedback feature. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing, this actually came up from another tester who said, wouldn't it be cool if the remote had a flashlight on it, <laughs> just a little flashlight, so that when you are watching a movie and you're getting up to get more popcorn or whatever, um, it has a little flashlight on it, kind of like our phone does. Like, it wouldn't add any function to the remote. It would yeah. add, you know, um, more convenience it just add more convenient life convenience, but not really a function to the remote. What do you think of that? Mm -hmm. I think that's, yeah. yeah, it's always nice to have a little flashlight. It always comes in handy. We, uh, so, that's how we use our phone. You know, we, <laughs> we just kind of flick the phone up, you know, so that the, the home screen comes on. And that's usually enough light to get us <laughs> around without kicking the table or whatever, you know? Yeah. Or if you drop something. If yeah, you're looking Jen, to add. Oh, oh go ahead. Yes. If you're looking to add stuff, something that doesn't come up but is very handy in, in my home is um, is uh, a place to plug in earphones or, you know, to uh, yeah. earbuds. Say that. Because there are times when Tracy is baking and I'm doing something else and we're in close proximity and I just can't hear whatever. So it's handy to, I can put on my, right now I put in like, you know, my little headphones and I can hear everything without having to turn it up real loud. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so interesting. So a headphones that goes into the remote. Mm -hmm. So now the TV is playing through the remote to the person. Yeah. Not. Oh, that means you have to put a speaker into the. I, I don't know what you could do is that like um, you could pair it with AirPods. So like the and like you could have like the AirPod case or the AirPods and you just touch it to the remote so that it pairs to on Bluetooth. There you go. Oh, uh, well, you know, I mean, we already have some things on here that it's like we're dreaming. Like, I don't know if you can, do, you know, I don't know if they could do this. So yeah, the, there's uh, Roku. So their remote um, has headphones like jack into it. Or like uh, I have it on my phone, the app, and then I can connect, if I plug in headphones to my phone or connect Bluetooth, I can listen that way remotely. All right, great. Mm -hmm. I'd have but to you say- You totally yeah. pair the AirPods and like, you know, touch it to that and then they're paired and they're like, your, your volume is coming through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Nick is actually outside of our target user. I want to point that out. <laughs> our target user was moderate to below technical skills. And I think Nick <laughs> is above because of your just really high interest in it. 
Yeah. But Jen, you were going to say something, and then um, do you remember what it was? It was when uh, Bill said something about the phone, the ears. It was before that. Oh, it was, um, oh, because we were talking about something. I mean, what I will add, though, is I do think the Surrey button and the mic thing is a good addition because someone like my mom, who's not tech savvy, adding that one of the things that she's it's really easy for her to do on her phone like even to type a text is to say <laughs> say the text with the mic mm -hmm. so i feel like and even every remote she looks at she's like show me how to use it so i feel like with that surrey button being right there um and the mic button being right there that's like easy for someone like that gets intimidated by all the buttons it could just be that one that they could do. yeah yeah and that's the thing we sometimes forget about is that like, I didn't really need, you know, when it was a group project, and I didn't really need that clear microphone spot, but mm -hmm. they did. And then when I hear about your mom, I think, yeah, not only is that clear microphone spot good, but even the little lights that go up to it would make your mom feel better, like I'm being heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so that's, yeah, that's really good. Great. Okay. That's all I needed from you guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No problem. Um, stop recording.